Boating is is natural here on Long Island. You know, we are surrounded by water. People love it. And last week, when the governor uh, shut down many of the facilities, uh, there was a reaction. Well, this weekend, happily, um, he revamped the policy and has reopened marinas. Uh, but they will be reopened with some protocols. And we are happy to report we are already putting that in place here in the town of Hempstead. Uh, we have thousands of residents who utilize our marinas on a regular basis. Uh, and since the governor's directive last week, we were actually inundated with phone calls and emails. Uh, so we're happy for the governor's uh, changes in his policy. Uh, and in accordance with that, we've implemented a couple of procedures. Uh, any of the residents who utilize our facilities will be, when they arrive here, see new signage at all of them indicating some of the new procedures we will have in effect uh, from social distancing to ramp entrance. Uh, in addition to that, we will be providing every resident who utilizes our spaces here at the marina and our, our areas with pamphlets. And these pamphlets are going to dictate to them not only traditional boater safety, the common sense boating techniques of life vests, and maintenance, but also the new common sense procedures we all have to live with. And that is still proper social distancing on boats, only having immediate family members on boats. Not taking your boat, go out and tie it up with other boats and have a party, but maintaining space of 50 feet between boats. In addition to that, we'll be in this pamphlet, we'll be indicating the requirements of regular cleaning of facilities and maintenance of boats. You know, as society begins to reopen here in New York, this is one of those first steps that is taking place. Here in the town of Hempstead, uh, we are home to over a thousand boaters who dock their uh, vessels at town of Hempstead marinas, whether it's the uh, Curtis Fisher Marina, the Angie Cullen Marina, the Guy Lombardo Marina, or the Inwood Marina. Um, it's a lot of people and it's a lot of vessels. And uh, as the supervisor mentioned, moving forward, what's most important is to follow the protocol. Uh, it's unfortunate, but I think that uh, what we're dealing with now is uh, not normal, but it's gonna be our new normal for a while. And if we want to uh, continue to keep people healthy, uh, continue to you know, uh, move forward and, and have less people sick, um, we need to follow the rules. And that's what we're doing here at all our marinas, at all our town of Hempstead facilities. We're providing the information, we're providing the resources to make sure uh, that our boaters, that our visitors can remain healthy uh, while still enjoying the beautiful waterways. I have the privilege and the honor to represent Point Lookout and also Guy Lombardo in Freeport. So I got a lot of calls over the last week or so about the concerns of the marinas being closed. I just want to say that I'm very grateful and happy that the governor is releasing some of these restrictions and we could practice safe distance on our waterways. I also want to thank our great 880 workforce, CSCA, not only for getting these marinas up and running, but for continuing road repairs, the highway department still running, the water department. Thank you for coming to work every day. Thank you for your service. And I just want to commend Supervisor Clavin and Councilman D'Esposito for running our task force. Our coronavirus task force has been updating residents every day. We've been on constant phone calls, and I want to thank them both for their leadership during this crisis. You know, we want you to enjoy your facilities. We want you to have an outlet. We want you to get that time out on the waters, but we want you to do it smart, we want you to do it cautiously and working together and following the procedures we're giving and getting out there. We'll get through this pandemic. We'll do it together. We'll do it in a safe manner uh, as we slowly try to come back what will be a new normal here in New York and particularly on our New York waterways.